welcome to another figure review. Today I'm reviewing Amy Pond and she is the same size as the other figure or some other figures up to cast revolver. So far no else has really got above cast revolver. Articulation 360 arms hands go 360 elbows same with the other arm that one's a bit stiff joint and then boots can't do no look and kneel can go out a bit and go forwards a bit but obviously the skirt blocks it this is the emmy from um, Victory of the Daleks, which really goes with my Dalek. My other two Daleks, so that really goes with them and her. So yeah, and I'm reviewing them one or the other next. But yeah, for now, Amy. Um, I like the jacket, like, cause it's like really nice, and but the head articulation is. No, on mine. Um, yeah, details to the clothes are nice. Uh, two disappoint. Well, no, one disappointment is the gingerness of her hair. Should be more ready. Red slash. A bit more like Donna's, or just ready slappy ginger mixture, not just ginger. Boots are very nicely done, like snake boots, the belt across, and then the creases on the back of the jacket, and then the pockets and that. So yeah, it's all very nice and colourful and stuff. Um, the only complaint, well, only really big complaint is the gingerness, but there's a minor one, which is just the boots, why don't they have any articulation, because the boots, but eh. Yeah, she ain't very tall, as I've said, from to cast revolver, or should I say from the floor to cast revolver. But, yep, um, she's alright. Out of a um, 10, I would give her a 9. Only thing I don't like is just gin uh, ginger hair, but then the boots is a minor criticism. So, because of that, I'm not going to mark it another down, but just the ginger. But apart from that, characters, you've done a nice, good Amy. And it it's better that you get figures from the episode and what she's wearing, like, stuff in as well. But the best thing is, you know, also the Doctor doesn't change the costume in the whole series. So, well, he does, but slightly. You know, because he'll have the blue or the red bow tie and the um, braces. But yeah, um, so like all those figures go with it. The Doctor, Amy, and the two Daleks. But yeah, you can mix and match, you know. Um, thanks for watching. The next one, I'm doing my Ion side. Um, what is it? Dalek. And it's cool that you get brace well, as well. So, but I don't have Bracewell, and I don't have the, um, Twisted Head, um, Smiler, and the Regenerating Weeping Angel. Those are coming soon, because I ordered them from Uda. Um, the Regenerating Weeping Angel, um, this is another thing, what I'll be saying throughout a lot of my videos. Trailer fire, trailer... Series 5 trailer is the last video for adventures for a while, or a short while, or a long while. Don't know how long, just a while. And, um, yeah. So, but I am, um, uh, I do have one figure from this wave, which is the Regenerating Weeping, Weeping Angel, which will be in it, and the Brain of Morbius. But everything what's in Series 5 will not be in that trailer. So if you're thinking, oh, so the Daleks aren't going to be in it. Oh, so the Sandmen aren't going to be in it. Oh, so the Zygon aren't going to be in it. Maybe they are, but they're not just going. They're not all going to be in that one trailer because that'd just be too long, be too many things. So yeah, nine out of ten. Thanks for watching. Ah, uh, another detail. 
I've just spotted Kazan at the figure that long. The nice necklace, I forgot that. What is it? Mega Shorts did that. I sometimes watch Mega Shorts. I do watch his videos, I doubt that he's listening because I'm not very popular. But anyway, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, next Iron Sight Dalek, then the last one. Well, not of the wave, but of the ones what I have so far. Because I only have Amy Pond, that guy with the glasses, from Beast Below, the two Daleks, and that's it. And I've already reviewed the guy with the glasses. And I've already reviewed Amy. Bye.